Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today I've got a quick challenge for all of you. What I want you to do is I want you to go on to your Facebook and I want you to open up your profile picture. And yeah, if you don't have a profile picture or if you don't have a Facebook, uh, feel free to go on your phone and open up uh, your camera and take a quick photo of yourself like this. Yeah. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to figure out your personality. Can I guess your personality type based on how you took that picture and how you come up based on that picture? Now my background in this is I've studied body language and personality type for many years now. I've seen definite patterns in how people tend to want to come across and I found out that every one of us have a natural posture, a natural way they want to come off. Now, this natural posture is basically found in how you first took your profile picture. So, if you took your profile picture like this, or perhaps like this, a little from the side, uh, that has a tendency to come put off or express certain qualities in yourself. Yeah, if you took a picture from this angle, with your head slightly tilted to the left or to the right perhaps, that suggests that you are a perceiving personality type, you have an adaptive personality type, you are flexible, you respond quickly to what's happening around you, you make decisions based on what you hear people say and to what you feel directly, you act quickly to achieve a certain emotional state or to what you feel. If you are feeling something, you decide to act on it directly or immediately if you can. Or if you're thinking about something, you rather want to start up with it right now. Yeah, perceiving types tend to be more flexible and more about acting for immediate closure. So if you rather did not take this photo that way, or if you did not resonate with this description, you are most likely a judging personality type. Judging personality types tend to take their pictures straight on, straight on towards themselves. And yeah, this is the CV posture. If you have a resume, you probably got a picture like this on it. Because often, this posture tends to signal to our employees, our potential employees, that we are judging, goal-oriented, focused personality types. We are organized, we have a set goal in our head, we have a clear ambition, we, have a, we signal ambition, we signal ideology or something we want or something that is important to us. Yeah, judging personality types tend to take straight on personality pictures of themselves, often because this posture is much more natural to them. This straight posture signals much more the judging straight personality temperament where the perceiving type has a much more slanted or adaptive or weighing personality. Because perceiving types are much more about weighing options and seeing what is best, often they will tilt their heads around like this as they talk or perhaps bounce with their hands in the air as they hold up different options in their head. Yeah. Perceiving types express themselves differently than judges. But now there might have been something else you did on this profile picture that is neater that of a judging type or a perceiving type. No, if you instead took your picture perhaps like this, upwards down to showing off mainly your cheeks and your brows and your eyes, you are more likely to be an extrovert. If you rather had the tendency to, in your pictures, hold up your head a little, highly, like you were proud or like you were somewhat distanced or detached from your environment, you are more likely to be an introvert. Yeah, introverts have this key posture, this common posture of seeking to lift up their head and to distance themselves from the world somewhat. This ostrich-like behavior, this giraffe or this tree-like uh, demeanor tends to signal to the world that you have a certain worldview or a certain inner compass, a certain belief about how the world should be, a certain belief about how the world is organized. And you keep a distance to the world around you, to your environment. The way you see it as an introvert is, my emotions are a result of how I think and they come from within. Emotions are my own fault and the result of what I think and who I am. If I change my mindset or my perspective or my worldview, I can change my emotional state. Yeah, introverts tend to believe that emotions are internal experiences, where extroverts tend to believe that emotions are external experiences. Extroverts 
are likely to place more emotional importance in how their environment is. And when an extrovert feels bad, they will often assume it is because of their environment being disorganized or because they have not gotten something in their environment that they need. So often, the extrovert is based on what is happening around them rather than what's happening within. Now, typically, when an extrovert has a tendency to tower up, it will make them appear a little less natural. Often, this will be the ugly posture for an extrovert, where an introvert will look beautiful and elegant in this towering motion. Often, the judging type will look a little unnatural, a little tense, a little strained as they have a tendency to look from this angle where a perceiving type will come off much more naturally when they show off these behaviors. But there is a personality in a lot of these expressions, a hidden personality type that I can't begin to explain in this video. There are secrets to how you come off based on these postures. There are secrets to how affectionate, how warm, how relaxed your cheeks are when you are doing this posture. Yeah, often INFJs tend to look more strained and more tense when taking pictures like this. They also tend to look a little more tough, a little stronger, like it's their warrior face, their tough warrior face. And often, some different personality types, such as the ENFPs, will come off vastly different in this posture. ENFPs often coming off as dreamy and uh, open-minded and opportunity-oriented. So I actually wrote an article detailing all of these secrets out. So if you head on to my website after this video, you can learn more about this. And if you're interested in going deeper in this, feel free to leave a comment down below and to ask for more videos. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.